Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered how engineers and architects understand comfort levels in a building using just a chart? That chart, packed with curves and lines, is called a psychrometric chart. And it holds the key to understanding how air behaves in different temperature and humidity conditions. In this video, I'll walk you through how to read a psychrometric chart step by step, breaking down each line, curve and axis so that by the end you'll be able to understand each of the parameter means and how it can be used sensibly to make your design decisions effectively. A psychrometric chart represents physical and thermal properties of moisture in a graphical form. At first glance, it might look like a confusing web of curves and lines. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you will be able to figure out each of the parameters mentioned in this graph. So before going to start reading it, let us have a look at the various parameters which are represented in the psychrometric chart. We will begin with dry bulb temperature. This is the actual air temperature measured with a standard thermometer. Its unit is typically degree Celsius and it's plotted on the horizontal axis from left to right. The next one is wet bulb temperature and this is the temperature read by a thermometer with a wet cloth around the bulb and it's affected by evaporative cooling. And this indicates how much cooling can happen through evaporation and it is always lower than or equal to dry bulb temperature. The next one is relative humidity. So this is the percentage of water vapor in the air compared to how much it can hold at that temperature. So it's relative to the amount of water that air at the same temperature can hold at 100% humidity or saturation. So a lower RH represents drier air. The next one is dew point temperature and this is the temperature at which air becomes fully saturated and condensation begins. The next one is enthalpy. The total heat energy in the air including both air and moisture content. And specific volume. This tells the total volume occupied by 1 kg of dry air, including any moisture. And the last one is humidity ratio, which gives the amount of water vapor in grams per kilogram of dry air. Now let us look at the graph. There are multiple lines, horizontal, vertical, diagonal and as well as curves given in this graph. Let us look at each one by one. The first one is dry bulb temperature represented along the x axis. The next one is wet bulb temperature diagonally represented. Then relative humidity represented as curves. Then enthalpy again diagonally represented similar to wet bulb temperature. Then specific volume again tilted lines and humidity ratio represented along the y-axis of the chart. And then dew point temperature is a point where 100% RH is achieved and beyond this point the air starts to condense. So let us look at a simplified version of this to have an idea of the parameters again. So this is the dry bulb temperature represented in degree Celsius, wet bulb temperature represented in degree Celsius again. Relative humidity, unit is percentage, enthalpy with the unit of kilojoule per kilogram of dry air, specific volume measured in cubic meters per kilogram of dry air, and the humidity ratio or absolute humidity which is represented in kilogram per kilogram of dry air. So this gives an overall idea of various parameters which can be read from the psychrometric chart. Suppose if we know any two parameters of air condition, we can estimate all the other parameters represented in the psychrometric chart with these two. So let us take an example. If the air condition is 
dry bulb temperature with a 25 degree celsius and rh of 50 percentage let us see how we can calculate the first thing we have to do is to mark these two parameters and identify the intersecting point which is the point of our interest let us first calculate the wet bulb temperature first mark along the diagonal line and the point is identified as 18 degrees celsius and the dew point temperature is identified as 14 degrees celsius the enthalpy is calculated as 51 kilojoule per kilogram and then humidity ratio is 0 0.01 kilogram per kilogram and the specific volume is 0 0.858 cubic meter per kilogram so if you have any of the two parameters we can estimate all the other parameters based on those two parameters so now you know how to read a psychrometric chart from dry bulb and wet bulb temperatures to relative humidity enthalpy and more understanding this chart helps us design more comfortable efficient and sustainable indoor spaces if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any questions or want me to explain specific psychrometric processes like sensible cooling or evaporative cooling drop them in the comments below thanks for watching and stay tuned for more insights into climate responsive design and building science thank you